crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. The Tyatin River tumbles from high in the Cascade Mountains down to the sagebrush and lush orchards of central Washington. Everyone knows the spectacular cone-shaped stratovolcanoes in the high Cascades, but here in the Tyatin River Canyon, there are stories to be told of huge cone volcanoes just west of Yakima, four of them, and a fifth volcano that used to stand at Goat Rocks Wilderness. The Cascades are a graveyard of old stratovolcanoes that have lived and died here in the mountains. Less than 30 miles from Yakima, four cones once stood in this neighborhood, where today Rim Rock Lake and the forested east slopes of the Cascades preside. A Mount Rainier-like volcano once stood right here. The volcano is gone, the lava flows are gone. The only thing remaining are monoliths down there above the lake that are part of the magma chamber from 25 million years ago. In the dark, the magma solidified, diorite that's 25 million years old. This was the magma chamber, the plumbing system underneath that cone. The volcano is gone, but these monoliths tell us that this was ground zero for a beautiful stratovolcano. A much, much younger story of an ancient volcano is also here in the area between White Pass and Yakima. The Goat Rocks Volcano stood tall for two million years, but the volcano died a half million years ago and the top half of the mountain is now gone, ravaged by powerful glacial action. Up here near the Goat Rocks Wilderness, there's a volcanic rock layer the Tyatin andesite that's super distinctive. Look at these crystals inside of this lava rock. They're enormous phenocrysts of something called plagioclase felspar. And normally when you have a lava flow with big crystals, the lava flow does not travel very far. But this Tyatin andesite flowed 50 miles away from its source. Unbelievably, an andesite lava flow almost made it to what is now the city of Yakima. Look at these columns, right along Highway 12. This thick Tyatin andesite used to fill this valley wall from side to side. And most of the lava is gone. Most of the columns were taken out of here. And there's just a few scraps of thick, tilted columns perched precariously above the busy Highway 12 between White Pass and the city of Yakima. 100 years ago, field geologists speculated that the distinctive Tyatin andesite erupted from Mount Rainier. But recently, Forest Service geologist Daryl Gussie has traced the Tyatin andesite on foot back to its precise source deep in the remote Goat Rocks wilderness. It took the older Titan andesite lava flow about 12 years to flow from Bear Creek Mountain to Cowichi Canyon just outside of Yakima. The older flow was dated at 1.64 million years old and the younger flow was dated at 1.39 million years old, a difference of about 250,000 years between the lava flows. Those dates put us squarely in the Ice Age where lava flows and glaciers were competing for space. The monoliths of diorite were so big that they held their own against the advancing glacial ice. They defeated the ice. Ice no closer to Yakima than Tyatin Dam. 